Hi, I'm Christopher Walker of Closely Observed Literature. This is a quick review of A Hair of Our Time by Lermontov, Mikhail Jurovic Lermontov. Uh, I was in Tbilisi a few years ago and I found a street named for Lermontov. And I thought, wow. And then I was exploring the suburbs here in Bielsko, a small Silesian city, and I found Lermontov Street. Wow. So yeah, he was a bigger thing than I ever thought when I was in the UK years and years ago, because I'd never heard of him. Um, a friend of mine in Krakow, um, Ola Flinter, recommended this book. So I have a lot to thank her for, really. Um, this is a fantastic uh, set of stories, very interesting. They, uh, they look at this guy, uh, Pechorin, um, who is, uh, to take from the back here, handsome, brilliant, cynical, world-weary. And he was the sort to plunge into reckless adventure, just like Lermontov, as it happened. He was um, pretty much the same sort of thing. There's a, there are a lot of parallels between the two. Um, so we, we kind of learn about Petrorin obliquely in the first story. We're actually following somebody else's narrative as they're, they're um, traveling through um, the Russian Caucasus. Um, I suppose that would be down towards Georgia or Armenia, something like that maybe. Um, so he's not dealt with directly in the first story, but then the other stories kind of concentrate on him, on his life, and we reach a, a deeper understanding. So this book is, as the title says, a hero of our time. It is about a character and some of the things that happen to him or that we see of him through the eyes of others. Um, it kind of touches on the idea of decadence a little bit. This, uh, this character who doesn't do uh, what society would have him do, and he runs afoul of his own uh, rampant emotions, everything like that. Um, it's a really fascinating character study. Um, Lermontov didn't write much in his lifetime. He wrote more poetry than fiction, I think, and not much of it has survived into English. I think this is pretty much the only thing of his that he's remembered for. Um, and I think that it's, it is our duty to read his writing, to remember him. It was fascinating. So there you go. Highly recommended. See you next time.